Okay, welcome again. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple social media poster the test outline effect in Photoshop. This is the test outline effect in Photoshop. So, I'll be teaching you how to do this quickly. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to create a new document. I'm using a 1080 by 1080 document since it's for social media or for Instagram precisely. Uh, and the session will be 7 Okay. I'll be creating this and the first thing I want to do is to create my background which is going to be a gradient now I'll be using this gradient as a point of reference let's make it brighter a bit and here also let me make it a bit brighter okay so uh, okay let me bring in let me bring in my My background now I'm going to be customizing the background at this point okay I'm going to be using this as my background let me increase it after I'm done increasing it I'm going to place it okay I'm going to place it and change the blending mode to overlay to overlay and then I'm going to be adjust, add, uh, adding the Gaussian blur to it to make it blur okay not to blur Yes, there are about, and I'm going to be applying a mask. The trick of this mask is to blend it properly with the background. You can see this up here, I want to move it, so I'll be blending it so the background. Okay, now that I'm done with this, I'm going to be bringing in my portrait, the picture I'm going to be using, I'm placing it right here, right here. Okay, our design, our picture, our design is coming to life already. Just watch me do this, okay? Next, I'm going to be typing my test. Uh, laughter, laugh. It's, uh, it's something you can use for a Monday. At least what I'm doing right now. The Monday design, you need the font to remain and uh, regular, regular. So let me increase the font by clicking on this bounding box. Let me just increase the size. Okay, let me change the font to bold a bit. Okay. See how it looks like in the Okay. And then let me center it just like this. Okay. Let me move this test here about. So now the first thing I will be doing at, at this stage is let me change the color to white. Let me change the color to white. Okay. I will be duplicating this love. Uh, under this picture under my picture here and to do that i just hold on my alt and click and drag now for the test on top that's the laugh as the test on top i'm going to be doing the feed down to zero then i will right click and click on blending option now under the blending option i'm going to be applying a stroke and i'm going to change the color of my stroke to white color of my stroke to white uh center white center white center okay and change the blending mode to overlay it's going to be there but not there it's not going to be there but not there okay so select okay but depending on what you want but for me for what i want to achieve i need is you can start to leave it on normal okay as you can see you already have the outline effect okay let's just say you want to leave it as normal and maybe it is your positive. Mm, just better. Let's just leave it as the overlay. Let's leave it as, as, as the overlay. Okay. So uh, let me see if I can turn uh, it. Let me clip it down on this. Let me clip it down. I'm trying to see. Let me just me trying to how stuff I can. Oh. Uh, so to so sort of bring out the. Effect we apply there. I will make this one inside at this point. Okay, that is beautiful. I think I love this. Okay, so now after doing this, now I want to add the other test here. I think on the original test, you can see of laugh. It is laugh. It of. Okay, I will changing my test font to uh, monument extended. Uh, ultra bold okay 
and I'm going to be using it to place it just here. Now, to achieve what I did there, uh, there are many ways you can do that. But what I did was I just drew a shape almost there. Just drew a shape here. What I'm doing now, it can be achieved over many means. I drew the shape and I hid it. Okay, so I went to the love the one underneath i created a mask and why would not why i click on the mask i held my control and clicked on this on this here. you can see the icon has changed of the hand i click on it and it gave me this so i just use my brush tool uh brush tool and change the settings to uh add round and i change the font size font size like so okay and uh, now we just brush it off and now we just brush it off like this and press ctrl d to commit the change just press ctrl d to commit the change okay so uh okay i will just let me adjust for city so let me just i'll just i can instead of doing the same thing on this one or two which is which is no need because it has already been clipped so we just leave it at that okay so laugh it off okay so at this point let me just try and readjust my picture as so let me adjust my picture as so I don't know if you get what I'm trying to achieve here but uh, I'm just trying to come up with something beautiful something beautiful here yeah. okay let me commit it okay let's see you can change the direction of this gradient here by double clicking on it and then change the angle okay like this okay now to just add a glow effect i'll be placing a new layer on top of it all into a new layer and with my brush i will use my brush to just dab a bit sorry let me change the property to a short round, okay? So I will just tap like this and I will use my move tool to increase the size. To increase the size, okay? So I will change the opacity to add light. To add light. As it to add light, okay? And let me change the color of this it off to yellow somewhat like this okay now our design is coming up okay so unless you want to add a logo to it come and then you add a logo we just add the logo here okay It's been there but not today. Okay. Just leave it like this. That's still. That's me. That's me. You see, you could still change the color to either black or white. Now it's control U. That's the yeah, saturation. I think it's better in black. Okay. So we're almost done. So at this point, I just add my finishing touches as you all know i got my color look up table and then i add my effect on it reduce the opacity a bit and also add my levels i just really have to give it contrast just to make it bright and give it contrast so like so okay and then to wrap it up i will press my ctrl or shift e to create a clear stamp and i call it a smart object and I go to my filter gal filter and I go to my camera filter and I apply the finishing touches to A there. Okay, so you just it's already bright already. So normally what I will just do here is to apply my green effects. Apply my green effect and go my go to my little and sharpen it. Okay, so just like that we are done and for me i can decide to export my documents okay so this was the initial design and this one i did later on 
pick up all this earlier one to the previous one okay so thanks for following me and you like share and turn on your notification icon thank you